ring is filled with a unique mix of females ranging from the TNA knockouts to, well, women from catering and even wardrobe. And not, not quite sure what the deal is, but I know, uh... Oh, that's Jeff Jarrett and his lovely wife Karen with the umbrella. We know what the deal was one week ago tonight. The Jarrett suffering the ultimate embarrassment and humiliation. And judging by that umbrella, they're not going to let it happen again on an evening when her husband Jeff planned a royal coronation to crown her queen of the mountain. Karen's ex, Kurt Angle, had other ideas. Well, it's safe to say that last week, millions of ex-husbands all over the world were in awe of Kurt Angle. <laughs> the Jarrett's, uh, they kept looking up, they got the umbrella, they're looking for more flying horse poop. And remember, Taz, Kurt surprised Karen with the news that he's hiring a mistress. A yeah. mistress strictly for business reasons. I know you're tight with Kurt. What do you know? I don't know. I don't know about his love life. I know that much. I don't know what those. Just for business reasons. I understand. Look, look at Jared. Jeff Jarrett. They're both fitting under that umbrella. Remember what Kurt said <laughs> last week about the mistress? He said, I hear that she's all pain, no pleasure, and she can't wait to meet Karen. Well, right now, I mean, you can just see Karen. She's supposed to be Queen Karen, Queen of the Mountain. It didn't happen. Coronation was ruined by a Kurt Angle with the horse doo doo. I'm sure you're all wondering why I've called you here this evening. <laughs> well, my crazy ex-husband has hired a mistress slut for business purposes only to take a hit out on me. <laughs> so, I have decided before anything happens to the queen of the mountain, we're gonna nip this in the bud. So, I have here my list of suspects. <laughs> yes, oh yes, each one of you. And I think we're gonna start right here with you, Grandma. <laughs> what is it you do here? Uh, oh, that's right. You're in catering. Yes. You don't think that I haven't been watching you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. I've been watching you the last few years. Oh, yes. Kurt Angle walks into the room. Oh! You're using the oldest trick in the book. Everyone knows the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Running around, acting like a senior citizen schoolgirl, making a fool of yourself. What do you have to say about that? Really? Yeah, really. I'm the caterer, and I cook for Kurt and I cook for 50 other wrestlers here. Now, are you done with me? Because I need to go back to the trailer and make my pot roast. Well, hit the road, Grandma. <laughs> oh, oh, Grandma, Grandma. And by the way, your Taco Tuesday sucks. Suck. I love Taco Tuesday! <laughs> Oh my, 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 my. Whew. Well, well, well. Oh, everybody's so upset. <laughs> and what do we have here? Spandex slut herself. Good old dancing fingers, Jolene the seamstress. I've been watching you too, sweetie. The last few years, gosh, how many years now, Jolene, has it been? Six years watching you run your grubby little hands up and down my ex-husband's body, playing him like a piano? Huh? What do you have to say about that? 
It's my job. It's what <laughs> it's they your job. Hated Measuring his inseam, which we both know doesn't take very long, does it? It's what they pay me to do. I make his gear like everybody else's. I oh, yeah. gotta get his measurements. Yeah. Well, you know what? Why don't you take your dancing fingers and dance them out of this ring? <laughs> oh my. And then we have the triumphant return of Ms. Tessmacher. Good old fun bags herself jacked up to her chin. Is it a coincidence that you and Kurt arrived at the same building at the exact same time? Considering that we're both employees for TNA, <laughs> and that we both showed up to earn our paychecks. <laughs> I don't find it odd at all. Really? You don't? No. You don't? Well, what about this? It's also been pointed out to me that you were both at the exact same gym at the exact same time this morning. What do you have to say about that? Huh? Did you or your resource happen to see the other 25 wrestlers that were working out that day too? Again, just a coincidence. <laughs> you know what, you little hussy? You've got an answer for everything, don't you? Well, you know what? Look at me. Consider yourself warned. I'm watching you. Whatever. <laughs> It's always uplifting seeing this test model. <laughs> narrowing it down, narrowing it down. <laughs> oh my. And then we have over here rice and beans, the little burrito sisters. Oh yeah. Oh, hot and spicy. Oh, bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, hot and spicy, just the way my ex-husband likes them? Yeah. You wouldn't consider it a coincidence using the American theme in all your interviews, would you? Oh, oh, because Kurt Angle, he's an American hero. That's not a coincidence at all, is it? Is it? Is it? What do you have to say about that? Listen, Karen, maybe you should take your head out of your and pay closer attention to impact because we are Mexican America. Mexican. All right, we don't want anything to do with any of you gringos estupidos and that includes your husband, Kurt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. And then we've got the whiny Madison Rain and Tara. <laughs> it isn't a coincidence that the two of you and my ex-husband aren't all three former TNA world champions, is it? Oh, remember that? Having that gold around your waist, riding up and down the road. Gosh, having that championship belt. I'll bet you think you have a lot in common with him, don't you? Don't you? Well, Karen, you're right about one thing. <laughs> yes, see? Mm -hmm. This one does think that she's somebody special. I've been telling her that for three weeks. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't put it past her to lay down for an Olympic hero because between you and I, <laughs> she is a dirty, filthy slut. Ooh, subtle. What, Tara, are you gonna do something? Do you have something to say, huh? What? <gasps> oh! <sighs> I guess she did have something to say. 
I'd keep an eye on that one if I were you, Karen, because I wouldn't put it past her to try to sleep with this one either. Oh, you little bitch. That ain't yeah, happening. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, well, well. I guess we've saved the best for last. Good old Velvet Sky. Oh, Velvet. Oh, what do I want? What do you want, Velvet? A new best friend? You know, gosh, Velvet, on a scale of one to ten, me obviously being a ten, you being about a 6.5 maybe. Yeah, really, really cute. cute. Being every man's dream and every woman's nightmare. Velvet, I can see where you're coming from. You've lost your best friend. You've gone about as far as you're ever going to go in TNA. Yeah, yeah. But if you were to land yourself on the arm of Kurt Angle, wow. Imagine how that would catapult you to the top. I mean, Velvet, look at it. I mean, you're at the end of your velvet rope and you've decided to go swing on somebody else's, haven't you? The only thing you have to do to get there, the only thing that you have to do to get there is to lay down. And honey, I've heard you're good at it. Oh, oh. 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 Don't you ever, oh. ever tell her. Attempt to lay a hand on the. That's queen right, of baby. That's right. That's right. Don't you ever. Yeah. I mean it. That's right. Don't you ever think about it. Yeah. That's right. You stupid little girl. Whoa! Velvet Sky just slapped the king of the mountain, Jeff Jarrett. Oh, here we go. Oh. Velvet Sky, Karen Jarrett, Jeff's trying to separate the two. Uh, that, that's Angelina Love with Winter trailing behind Angelina. That's the former best friend of Velvet Sky. And uh, just tosses, like you said, her former best friend, former partner, directly down to the canvas. Intimidation tactics of Winter with SoCal Val insisting that she ring the bell and ring the bell now. This match was supposed to be scheduled for later on tonight between Velvet and Angelina, but Winter just intimidating SoCal Val on bell keeper just to start the thing now. Yeah, without a referee, and we're gonna we're gonna get a referee. We're gonna send him to the ring and we're gonna be back with the former beautiful people partners against each other. More of Angelina and Velvet after this.